Alright guys, today we're here to do another video on the Oculus Quest 2 and today we're doing my top 15 favorite games in the Oculus Quest 2 overall. So this is since the Quest 2 actually came out, all the games from day one all the way up till 2021 at the end of the year to see what games are the top 15 games in the Quest 2 that I still play even from some that came out in the very beginning of the Quest that I still play today all the way till now with games that just released. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know if you guys like this channel and like content like this and you want to support me, and an easy way to do that, if you want to purchase the Quest 2 for yourself, which I highly recommend on this channel, of course, because I love VR and I think it's the next up and coming thing and I have always thought that since it came out. If you guys want to buy one, you can use my referral link down below and that gives you $60 in the store to buy $60 worth of free games and then it gives me $60 as well and it makes it easier for me to continue to purchase games on the Quest Store uh, to be able to bring these uh, you know, Oculus Quest 2 review to you the day that the games come out. So if you guys want to help support that's an easy way for you to do it or of course you can always just hit that subscribe button to follow future content. Otherwise let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech. So coming in at number 15 is 4VR Bowl. 4VR Bowl is definitely my favorite bowling game that I've played on the Quest because it doesn't just do regular bowling alleys. It actually puts you in bowling alleys that are like, oh, you're underwater playing bowling. You know, it makes the game more fun. And then all the bowling balls have these special effects. They all do different things. Obviously, there's multiplayer in the game where you can play with the four other players. Everything is just so well done. The devs keep updating it with new alleys, you know, interesting alleys like being in outer sp in, in space and stuff like that. So the game is just a lot of fun, guys. 4VR Bowl coming in at 15. The next one on this list at 14 used to be called Top Golf with Pro Putt, like it says here, but they've actually recently changed their name to Golf Plus. So Golf Plus is a really fantastic game. I'm a really big fan of going to the actual Top Golf locations in the real world, and this game kind of mimics that for me really, really well. There's eight player multiplayer lobbies. The lobbies are really social. There's a lot going on. You can play, you know, music videos while you play. There's a lot of unlockables, and eight of you are standing over the ledge there, and you're and you're hitting these balls just like you would in a real Top Golf place, which is really fun. And the reason they changed their name is because they've now added a full, uh, full 18 hole golf course into the game. Uh, which is really, really cool as part of their DLC plans. Uh, they obviously have mini golf as well into this game with smaller courses as well. There's a lot going on in this game, but my favorite part is the top golf area with the social uh, where you can actually play a bunch of different mini games on top of the top golf and listen to videos and hang out with your friends with eight with eight of your friends. And it's just a lot of fun to play this in multiplayer. Golf Plus coming in at number 14. The next one on this list coming in at number 13 is a game that I don't think gets a lot of recognition out there, and that is Dash Dash World. Dash Dash World is basically, uh, if you guys are fans of racing games like Mario Kart, this is that brought into VR. Everything about this game is done really well or well. I think they're up to 14 courses now because these devs keep updating this game with new maps and new features. This game has actually been out for a while, and they still keep adding new maps and stuff to it. And the maps are so much fun. They're so well designed. They're very varied from each other. They don't look... You know, the tracks aren't like, you know, a very similar difference to each other. They're all very different from each other. They all have their own quirks, their own different personality to them. Uh, a bunch of different cars and a lot of different uh, cosmetic unlockables to play with. Obviously, full eight-player multiplayer support is now in the game as well. And, of course, you have the Mario Kart caveat stuff of, of having weapons in the game where you can pick up all these things and throw them at your enemies and, and do all these different things. It, it's a lot of fun, guys. If you guys are even a little bit of a fan of games like Mario Kart and racing games. This is the best one on the quest, in my opinion. Uh, it's the one that I have the most fun with as a person who loves the Mario Kart series and, and kart racers in general. This one just keeps on giving. Uh, the devs keep updating it with new content, um, you know, as the months go on, and they're still doing it to this day, and it just plays really, really well. Graphics are fantastic on the quest, too, and I'm just having a ton of fun with it. And it even has a story mode as well. Uh, that you can also play. And don't forget this has crossplay, so even on PC and Quest, you can all play together. So everything about this is done really, really well, guys. Check this one out. That is Dash Dash World on the Oculus Quest 2, coming in at number 13. The next one on this list, coming in at number 12, is the newest game on the list. This is After the Fall. Literally just came out on the Quest 2 like a week ago. But this game would actually be, is probably going to get higher and higher on my list as more content gets out because the only reason this isn't higher is because we need more content in this game but what's here is so much fun if you guys ever wanted left for dead in vr where you could you and three of your other friends can go through and do these missions go in there kill some zombies you know 
unlock cosmetics for your weapons to make them better and then basically do that loop over and over again to get better weapons and be able to do them on harder difficulties this is that game and it even has team deathmatch support they already have season one content plans coming with a new one there's only five maps currently or five missions in the game but there's already a sixth one coming and they have a lot of plans to keep supporting this game so this one easily could rise up the ranks but right now after the fall coming in at number 12. for an entire generation the next one on this list coming in at number 11 is Star Wars Pinball. Now, this one is, a, there's a couple of reasons why I like this game so much. The first one is because I'm a really big fan of visual pinball or virtual pinball to begin with. I have a machine at home, uh, but playing it in VR is a very different experience, especially how Zen Studios did this one. Because not only do you get to see the table in 3D and all that stuff like you would in VR, but they actually have these little VR mini games that you play as the table, like you're seeing right here. Mini games that pop up as you're playing the table. And then, of course, you have this cave here, your Star Wars cave, that you, as you're playing these tables, you unlock different helmets, unlock different things for your actual room that you can decorate and make that Star Wars uh, cave basically unique to yourself. Everything about this game is fantastic, uh, everything that they did. Uh, if you guys have not played a pinball game in VR, this is definitely one you need to check out, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. Because, like I said, they've done it so well. You have the Star Wars man cave that you can actually customize to your unlockables that you actually get. But playing a pinball game in VR is a very different experience than playing a pinball game in real life. Uh, you know, seeing these these objects, you know, running around you, the, the 3D effects, playing these different mini games, all that kind of stuff that appears is just a very different experience. And it's really, really cool. I think a lot of people are going to like this one if they're pinball fans. So, guys, check this one out if you guys are fans of pinball and Star Wars. Coming in at number 11, Star Wars Pinball. The next one here coming in at number 10 is a game that I still have a ton of fun with that came out this year, and that is Hyper Dash. So I am a really big fan of games like Unreal Tournament and Quake and stuff like that, and that's exactly what this game reminds me of. So if you guys are fans of fast-paced FPS games, this is definitely the game for you. The, the hook of this game is that, in the, in the actual name of the title, you're dashing around getting on these rails and dashing all over the place and, and, and doing these quick movements and obviously playing the regular modes that you guys are used to like deathmatch team deathmatch you know payload stuff like that but the movement system is really fun the combat works really well the shooting feels great and obviously it's a ton a ton of fun uh one of my favorite fps games to play on the quest 2 easily is hyper dash and i've been playing it ever since it came out so if you guys are fans of fast multiplayer games like Unreal Tournament and Quake and stuff like that, definitely check this one out, guys. That is Hyper Dash coming in at number 10. The next one here coming in at number 9 is a game called Walkabout Mini Golf. Now, when I wanted a mini golf game brought to VR, this is exactly what I pictured it being like. And these devs are fantastic. They keep adding courses to the game. They added a bunch of free courses. Now they started down their DLC path and they're adding a bunch of courses over the next uh, couple of months as well. And this game is just done so well. The graphics are fantastic on the Quest 2. The multiplayer with three of your other friends is, is, is fun. Uh, having unlockable balls that you can find as you're playing through these courses is great. But what really makes it stand out uh, for me is that it really feels like you're in a mini golf game. You're not just outside and you know hitting these balls without you know being in these cool environments the environments are fantastic you're sometimes going inside the cave sometimes going inside mountains sometimes going inside these you know extravagant lands and, and going through these different things and it feels like i'm at a mini golf course that i went to as a kid and that's exactly what i wanted this game to feel like and these devs continue to deliver on it with their future uh, dlc and every time they come out it's fantastic guys walk about mini golf coming in at number nine so the next one on this list coming in at number eight is a game called Demio. Now, if you guys are longtime fans of this channel, you know that I'm a really big fan of board games. And this is a board game brought into VR, except it's one of the most popular board games that a lot of people play, and that's tabletop RPGs. And they brought this game over to VR, and, you know, the guys at Resolution Games always do a fantastic job with the games that they bring into VR. And this game is no exception. You basically have three of your friends uh, all around the table and you're playing this tabletop RPG and they're constantly adding content to this already. And it works so, so well. This is one of the most fun games you could have with three friends around a board game in VR. Uh, you know, you're obviously going through, there's uh, story missions that they're doing and campaign missions that they're doing. Uh, you roll the dice and you try to kill the enemies on the board and, it, and you know, progress through the levels like you would in a tabletop RPG. Uh, but it just works so, so well in VR and, and it's one of the most social games you could have in VR, working with your team 
trying to get through using these cards that you get that all have these different effects on your characters figuring out when to do things when to hit the bad guy when to go after the main boss and, and you're going through these dungeons and trying to go through each level to get to the end of the level and get to the main boss and i hope that they keep adding content like they've been doing to this game over and over again because this game is so much fun as a huge fan of board games they did a fantastic job bringing this one into vr and i wish that more board game companies would bring their game into vr because this one and you know games like Catan and stuff in vr can do a lot in vr and they're a lot of fun to play board games like that so this one is fantastic this is demio coming in at number eight The next one here coming at number seven is probably a game that doesn't need any introduction because a lot of people have played this one uh one of the most popular uh you know rhythm music games in vr and that is pistol whip now pistol whip makes itself stand out uh for a couple of reasons the first one is of course this one you're actually shooting enemies on screen you're dipping and dodging out of the way and stuff like that uh which sets it apart from other rhythm games but what's also really really cool is all the modifiers that they have in the game as you're seeing here where you can modify the, you know how the weapons work if you're dual wielding if you're using one uh, all these different modifications that you can make that they've added more to over time but also the fact that they actually have campaign missions and campaign stories so you're not just playing a random level that is just based on music which the music in this game is also fantastic by the way but you're also playing these little campaign missions that they've created they've created a couple of them already and you know like 2080 nine and stuff like that and you're going through a story so you're not only are you playing these these uh rhythm games or rhythm levels but you're actually playing through these stories as you progress through them and each level is designed around the story you go through them like this and you're dipping and dodging away out of enemies shooting them and obviously following the beat of the music as close as possible your score obviously depends on you know how you're hitting the enemies and if you're hitting them to intuitive the beat as you're listening to it uh, but this game is just done so well. The story r stuff really sets it apart from other rhythm games. The shooting is, feels fantastic. The graphics are really cool. And the scenes in this game, like I said, the missions that you're doing is just a lot of fun. So if you guys have not checked this one out, you definitely owe it to yourself if you're a rhythm fan or rhythm music fans. And that is Pistol Whip coming in at number seven. The next one here coming in at number six is 11 Table Tennis. Now, this is a game that I have literally played since VR's first inception. And true fact here, I used to have a ping pong table at home, and I was always mad that I could never find people to play because obviously I needed somebody to come over to play it, and it took up a lot of room. And this game literally made me get rid of my ping pong table, and now I just play this in VR. Every time I want to play someone, there's always people online. The community is really active. You go in there, you can play it. And now I always have somebody to play. And the physics in this game are done so well that I don't really, I don't miss that real ping pong table at all. This is one of the few games in VR that like really let me change, uh, you know, an actual physical object in the real world that I don't need anymore because VR does it just as good. And I don't miss it at all. And the fact that you can play with anybody at any time, anywhere around the world with your friends in the comfort of your own home, uh, you know, steals the deal for me. Uh, like I said, the physics in this game are fantastic. It plays really well. The multiplayer uh, is active. The community is great. Playing this game is a lot of fun. Uh, if you're even a little bit of a fan of ping pong, you owe it to yourself to definitely check this one out. That is 11 Table Tennis coming in at number six. The next one coming in here at number five is a game that a lot of us have definitely played. Uh, one of the games that a lot of us first loved in VR, and that is super hot. Super hot is fantastic in VR. It's basically, uh, it's all about like killing these enemies. But the catch is, is that they only move as you move. So if you stand still, they don't move. And as soon as you move to pick up a weapon or you grab these objects, they start moving towards you to try to kill you. You go through these levels. The game is, you know, not the longest game in the world, but it's a lot of fun to play. A game that's been around for a while. Super Hot VR was one of the games that I first got introduced in VR and had a fantastic time with and still stands up today. Super Hot VR coming in at number five the next one on this list here uh is coming in at number four and that is the star wars immortal series so they release this in three different episodes for ten dollars each you can now get all three at the same time the story the story in these are about an hour and a half or so each episode uh, and then of course they have that dojo mode that a lot of us really really love but if you guys are a fan of star wars in general and you want to see what star wars can look like in vr even though i wish that these were longer 
this game is fantastic. It's everything a Star Wars fan would want. You get to use lightsabers, you get to use pistols and blasters and stuff like that. You get to see Darth Vader, you know, up and close in VR and how he would look like. The game is a ton of fun. You get to use your force powers. And then, of course, you have that dojo mode. And that dojo mode, basically, after you finish a story, it has a dojo level that you can go through these levels, trying to kill these enemies by using your lightsaber and using the force powers and trying to get through these levels and last as long as possible and get the highest score and unlock different lightsabers as you're doing so. It's a lot of fun to do, really adds variety to the game, and each one of the uh, levels, or sorry, each one of the packs, the mission one, two, and three, has its own dojo mode, so you can uh, experience a little bit different variety in each one. The story is a lot of fun. Like I said, the only problem with it is it's a little short, but it still stands out because it's Star Wars, the dojo mode, and even though it's not the longest game, it's still a fantastic experience, especially for Star Wars fans and people who love story games. I think it's a fantastic value and definitely not one to be missed by anybody who loves Star Wars out there. That is a Star Wars Immortal three-part series coming in at number four. <laughs> Coming in at number three here is a game that also just came out recently, and that is Resident Evil 4. Now, like I said in the video review that I did for this game, I'll be 100% transparent and say I've never actually played this game when it came out on the GameCube, and that definitely makes this game even higher on my list because I've never experienced this game before, so everything is brand new to me. But I have seen little snippets of it on the GameCube. I just never finished it or went through the whole entire game, and I could see how much work they did to putting this game into VR. The fact that you could bring a 2D game like that, that's you know that old, into VR and still feel like the mechanics are really fun in VR and they belong in VR is crazy. And not only that, but a lot of people who reviewed this game and played it say that this is the definitive way to actually play Resident Evil 4. They don't ever want to play it back on the consoles. They want to play it in VR from now on because that's how great the experience feels and that's how great of a job they did in bringing this game in VR. If you guys are fans of horror, Resident Evil in general, they did a fantastic job bringing this into VR. Check this one out, Resident Evil 4 at number three. The next one here coming in at number two is another game that probably doesn't need any introduction considering it's one of the most popular multiplayer games on the Quest 2 platform, and that is Population 1, a battle royale game in the keen of things like Fortnite and Apex Legends and stuff like that. And this is that for VR. And, uh, you know, Big Box has done a fantastic job that they keep updating this game with new content. Wild Wild West is what they did for the last season, and they'll be doing uh, another one here shortly for the December season in Winter Wonderland, which is going to be fantastic. They added Team Deathmatch. They have limited time game modes that they have in here. They have the Battle Royale where uh, there's 18 people, you know, three players on each team, trying to be the last one standing. The mechanics feel really good. But what's really cool about this game is the fact that you can fly anywhere and you can scale any building. So you can actually climb uh, as you're seeing here above these buildings and kind of get a higher vantage point uh, it's really really fun definitely one of the most fun games you could have with your with three friends in vr especially if you like shooting games like this and battle royale games this one is done really well gets content updates and always have lobbies full really easy to get into that is population one coming in at number two and coming in at number one probably shouldn't be a shock to anybody who keeps track of the uh, vr games in general that is of course Beat Saber, the behemoth that is, the one that has sold the most copies of any VR game to date. Uh, you know, they keep adding content to this game. The latest one is the Lady Gaga pack that they just added. Uh, I have a ton of fun with this one. I always play a couple of songs when I enter VR. Uh, you know, just using these sabers in VR uh, is just so much fun. And the music that they keep adding is fun. And of course, the custom content. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that top 15 Oculus Quest 2 games overall since it first came out. There's been a lot of good VR games that have came out since the Oculus Quest 2. And I'm having a ton of fun with VR. But of course, VR is not just limited to the Quest 2. There is, of course, PC VR titles as well. So my next video for you guys to look forward to, if you guys like VR content, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, as I will be doing my top VR games across all platforms of games that no one is actually talking about anymore. So games that have kind of came out, you know, maybe a while ago, or maybe they slipped out under a lot of people's radar. I'm going to be talking about games that I still play that have, that people are no longer talking about and no longer playing. So that should be a really fun video to do. And that will be across all platforms, the Quest, Steam VR, and all that stuff. So we'll be talking about that here shortly in a future video. So if you guys have any questions about what you guys saw in today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.